Hello friends, welcome to BioLearn, the YouTube channel for effective biology learning. I am Akshay Dave, your biology facilitator. In this video, you will be learning about protective tissues in plants, which are also known as surface tissues, and those are important protective aspects of plants. So, let's start learning right away. Permanent tissues are made up of cells which are incapable of division. They form the bulk of the plants and have a definite form and size. The cells may be living or dead with thin or thick walls. If living, the cells have low metabolic rate. Permanent tissues can be categorized into three kinds based on the functions performed by them. Those are Supporting tissues or simple permanent tissues protective tissues and conducting tissues. The protective tissues constitute the outer covering of plants and protect them from external environment. These are of two types, the epidermis and the cork. Epidermis is the outermost layer of the plant made up of flattened and closely packed cells which form a continuous layer. The epidermal cells secrete a waterproof waxy layer known as cuticle which covers the aerial parts of the plants. It prevents them from desiccation, mechanical injury and entry of microbes and dust. Epidermal root hair help in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil. Trichomes or shoot hair are also epidermal in origin. They reduce the evaporation of water and protect the plants. Stomata are tiny pores present in the epidermis of the leaves which are responsible for exchange of gases and transpiration. Cork tissue forms the dry and thick covering of older plants. Cells of the cork are dead and compactly arranged without any intercellular spaces. Cell wall is thick and impermeable to water and gases because of the deposition of suberin. The cells are devoid of protoplasm and contain resins and gum. The outer surface of the cork in woody plants has small pores called lenticels to allow the exchange of gases. Bark is the non-technical term used collectively for cork and the lower epidermal layers. So, if you find my videos useful, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon so that you are notified about each video that I post in future. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you all in the next video.